So I'm gonna show you a Kimura from Guard, and I'm gonna show you a lot of little details that make it effective. And as always, this is my lovely assistant, Mr. Adam Wilson. So a lot of times you'll have someone that gets a, especially when they're trying to break the guard, they put the hand in the chest, hand in the hip, they slide the knee behind the butt here, and they do this to break the guard open, right? So pretty common. So we're gonna work off of that since it's a very common thing to run into as a white belt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna grab the wrist and I'm gonna stuff his hand uh, to my hip here. So I'm gonna push it in. Now from here, I'm gonna turn to the side. Also guys, don't get too fixated on having to do thumbless versus uh, like a monkey paw or like sort of hook grip. For right now, we are definitely going to be using a thumb grip because we need to be able to hold, so we'll be using the C clamp. So push, turn to the side, doing like a side crunch here, and I'm going to pull in with my leg to get it posted. Now, what's cool about this is I've isolated this arm now because now it's stuck over here and his other arm's over there, and this is going to allow us boom, to get the figure four. Now, the priority, right, when you guys start moving, because a lot of times, like I just did this with my white belts today, and they started trying to you know, move before they locked it up. Whenever you're doing a Kimura, the first thing you want to do, as soon as you isolate the arm, boom, get your figure four. Okay, if you're tall, you might have a little trouble doing the Kimura. So the trick is to bring your elbows in very close together. The further your elbows are out, the harder it is to lock, so bring your elbows in close. Now, here's the thing, guys. We're getting ready to do a submission. So in most cases, submissions are essentially my whole body is going to be fighting against one part of his. So what I'm gonna do is I got this part of his body locked up, his arm and shoulder. I'm gonna start to swivel my hips and turn over. Now, to finish this, I'm gonna pinch the elbow down. We'll get a better view of that in a minute. And I'm not gonna try to focus on pushing so much. I'm gonna be focused more on working my whole upper body, right? So again, not just my arms versus his arms, but my whole body is turning against his arm and shoulder here, okay? So again, I'm pinning down here to the side, okay? And I'm going to crunch, okay? And twist, a good posture break, even by itself. Even if you don't want to use this for a Kimura, this is great setup to like an arm, like a basic uh, straight arm lock here. So again, we're here, we get our figure four. Now, once we get the figure four, we hold that arm tight to our body so he's not able to move it around and get it out of the place. And so we've got the arm here, we got it locked up. I'm gonna open my legs at this point. If they're not already open, you might have to open your legs to set up to get the Kimura. I'm gonna shift my hips. Notice how little the arm moves. I'm right here, and, I, and I'm shifting around. The arm stays almost basically in the same spot. And I'm gonna be trying to get onto my left shoulder. Now, depending on how flexible the person is, Adam's not super flexible, but some people that are super gumby, you'll be able to get all the way onto your shoulder. Okay, but from here, here's another little trick. Instead of just trying to finish here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my form, and I'm gonna press it down into his shoulder for extra pressure. I don't know, I don't know what you'd say there, but right here, boom, it, it comes on quick. So while I'm here, instead of having to like push up on the arm, see this, I can just pinch, just like that, pushing the elbow down, and if we had any more slack, I would just torque my upper body, keeping the arm very tight to my body. Because again, one of the mistakes that people make is when they get the Kimura, they'll try to like stay out here, like they'll like push, and this person straightens the arm out, which can lead to other attacks for you, but at the same time, you lost your Kimura, so you wanna make sure that it's more attached to your body and staying tight. Push the, the hand to the hip here, crunch to the side, pull your legs forward to get them to post that hand, and get them off balance, isolate the arm. Get your figure four, swivel the hips, and again, you guys, turn it all the way towards your side as best you can, and when you go to finish this, again, push the elbow down, and then torque the upper body. And guys, as always, I gotta stress this with the Kimura. The Kimura is one of the most dangerous submissions uh, Jiu-Jitsu has to offer just because of the nature of it. You're attacking a really mobile joint, so you have to be very, very careful. So when you're in training, um, make sure that whenever you do your Kimura, you always go slow to the finish. Fast to the lock, fast to the movement, fast to the finishing position, but when you go to actually apply that finishing pressure, you go very, very slow. And there's times where, you know, sometimes I'll lose the position sometimes just because I wasn't putting enough pressure quite yet. I could have ripped it if I wanted to, but I let go of it because, again, I don't want my partner's shoulder or arm to get messed up. So, Adam. Adam. Hey guys, if you like that white belt technique and you'd like to see more white belt techniques, check out the playlist by clicking the little box right here.